Hey everyone and welcome to a new episode on this channel. My name is Martin, I'm with Birds by the CH and as you can see and hear we are searching for tarantulas right next to the roadside embankment here in Costa Rica at around yeah, 700-800 meters above sea level. Uh, it's still dry season of course even though there is a lot of rain and on this very roadside embankment we are now going to look for tarantulas because we've already sorry for the for the noise but that's that's usual here um, so we've already spotted some interesting holes and we will try to see if something is inside just give me a second and uh, I'll actually give you an overview of how this place looks the soil is completely dry bone dry basically and uh, therefore it makes it easy for us if we find or spot a tarantula that we can actually yeah tickle her out easily well in this shot you can see the clay structure it's very orange and that means the structure itself is quite ideal to like dig burrows uh, since when it's wet or rainy the soil gets easy to like manage and dig a new hole for the tarantulas and when then the sun is coming up in the higher uh, temperature months within the dry season then everything is bone dry and the tunnel the spider burrowed is stable rock solid and therefore they have the best protection so they usually wait till it rains and then try to create a burrow so as we did in Chile we also found some burrows with molds in it like exuvia when the spider is growing they shed their skin but the adult spider was not in the burrow itself so we somewhat tend to believe that not all tarantulas are stationary the whole year so they might have some sort of cycles like changing the location so we've actually managed to find this species it's a new species for us on this trip um, which species it is exactly i will check once we are back in the hotel right now i'm not very sure there are uh, two possibilities um, which could be the very species which we did find here um, but it's of course a Sericopelma species but it's for sure a Sericopelma species because the coloration itself um, yeah, perfectly matches to like the Sericopelma species we've seen in Panama about a few years ago and of course the ones we do have in the pet trade so all in all it's amazing that we've seen this and we will document them take some pictures and videos for you guys so you can actually enjoy them including the traffic behind me uh, with all the cars driving around yeah, that's just part of Costa Rica Pura Vida so the very first Sericopelma species on the trip and you can see she or he was not happy to see us at all it was just in a small crevice on this roadside embankment and it was easy to to get him out or her but threat posture immediately um, a defense is up and running of course so we did not longer disturb her uh, took a few shots and a few pictures of course for our website and later on decided to like release it back and look for bigger specimens because that's actually a juvenile one around three centimeter body length and they don't have the same coloration as adults. Very successful so far. Uh, we've actually found an adult female. And as you can hear, we are still right next to the street, of course. That's how you do it in Costa Rica, searching for tarantulas. No, of course, it would have been way better if... Uh, oh man, if we would have found them in a primary rainforest or primary natural habitat but uh, sadly it's often not the case often you're going to find them right next to the street on roadside embankments like this and behind me you can see there is agricultural land farmland there is some forest remains um, but anyway 
the adult female we found is uh, quite big with about six centimeters body length in total so that makes it almost the size of a Megaphobema mesomelas even though the Carapax is uh, not that big as we've seen on one of the very big females we found up in the cloud forest so Rito on the other roadside embankment is uh, photographing the specimen and what is interesting to note is that this tarantula species uh, prefers to live in yeah, burrows which are not that deep they go into about 20 to yeah maximum 40 centimeters so smaller burrows or not that deep of a burrow is always better for us because we are able to see the spider uh, when we are tickling the spider out and they actually don't have a chance to like go very deep like 50 centimeters or 100 centimeters deep into the ground where we can't actually see them anymore so that's preferable for us we can tickle them out easily this is the first and hopefully the last video with so much car noise um, usually we're not on the main road as you can see behind me that's one of the main roads here and therefore there is a lot of car traffic um, going through so we'll finish taking some pictures taking some videos for you guys and after that we will leave and uh, drive to somewhere else with somewhere different place with different vegetation a little bit higher up so we will see how this will go and if we are going to find some different tarantulas up there. Sericopelma species are generally very defensive if you find them in the wild and this adult female was no exception. At the moment she's chilling right there on the ground we were taking some pictures but most of the time she was in a threat posture letting us know that we should just go over and leave her alone. Of course we did that later on was just a short trip, short stay, spontaneous road stop and we managed to find an adult female of Sericopelma, just amazing. So we found Sericopelma colony with several different uh, yeah, juvenile specimens and adult female. We are now heading towards a mountain which is at the moment fully um, yeah, covered in in rain clouds uh, it's so dark you can't even see the mountain that's where we are heading to and uh, hopefully there will be tarantulas as well maybe some other species of spiders in general this episode straightforward um, because it was a lucky shot on the way to go there is not much of tarantula search and hunting um, going on in the species because we just basically drove and on this on this highway and then decided to actually stop right next to the roadside embankment and we found the colony of Serico Pelma. So luckily we were lucky uh, the first time actually in this uh, trip without any effort we were able to document the tarantulas and uh, that's all for it. If you've liked the episode, if you want to see more videos like this traveling, see us traveling in the wild in the nature searching for, for uh, tarantulas then leave a comment down below and also make sure you thumbs up the video and if you would like to is if you'd like to see more tarantulas from around the globe somewhere then make sure you watch all the other videos we have on the channel and make sure you subscribe so that you get notified when there actually is a new video from us that's for it and enjoy the rest of your week Cavaretti. Smash that like button. Smash that like button and subscribe.